Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play of Jane Addiction. A Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play. So in our last video uh, we formed the Kingdom of Gujarat and we took back, or I don't really know if you could say we took back, but we kind of uh, forcibly annexed the territory that my brother took off with. And even though he's still in control of both territories, um, yeah, he's he's under our thrall at this point. So, so we don't have claims on those. We'd really, really like to have claims on those, though. Uh, if he dies, we are his heir. Hmm. Oh man, he's homosexual too. That's going to give him a real bad negative. That would that that in and of itself is a good reason why we didn't want to play as him. Um, if if that would have happened, that would have been bad. I mean, it's not insurmountable. I've played other games with homosexual rulers before and done very, very well. But uh, it, it can be pretty rough. So, anyways. So what we're kind of uh, looking at right now is uh, we're kind of in a holding pattern. We can't really do a whole lot at this point because we don't have any... Uh, any claims per se. Uh, we do have a de jure claim here on Mohada Vasaka. We have a de jure claim on this too. Interesting. Hmm. Let's take a look at something real quick. When we last looked, he did not have many troops. He still doesn't have many troops. His allies are the Raja of Maru, which is probably, yeah, it's in his actual territory, and this is definitely in his territory. So, those are his allies, but they really can't be called into battle, per se. Uh, they're going to grant him the full total of levy, but he only has 1.4k troops, whereas we can, uh, we can muster forth at full, uh, full levies 2,200, almost 2,300. Actually, yeah, 2,300. So, we have uh, about a 1.6 times greater army than him. Um, what I think we do here is we're just going to chill, okay? And then uh, once our levies are up to full strength, we will attack him. Because we can... We have your claim on that, on that, and on that. Because they're all part of the Kingdom of Gujarat. So, that's our plan. Unless something else comes up. If you want to improve your skill at diplomacy, you need to become a confident public speaker. Swaying the hearts and minds of men with simple words is not an easy thing, but you have started practicing in front of a mirror. Things can only improve. You talking to me? So uh, that's one of the random events that can happen whenever you're trying to improve your, improve your diplomacy, which we're actually, we took the carousing focus because our diplomacy was pretty bad. Speaking of which, have we caroused lately? I don't know that we have. All right, so let's look at our vassals here, and, uh, okay. Do we still have the modifier? That's hard to tell. He actually might be preparing a feast, which is funny. All right, so let's invite some people to carouse. Now, they may turn us down, which will be a little bit of a prestige hit, but that's okay. We have a ton of prestige at this point. The main reason that we're doing this, uh, well, I mean, you know, we do gain, if they come to the corrals, we do gain some uh, some opinion with them. But the main reason we're doing this is to try to speed along our diplomatic growth. Yes, please, come, come corrals with me. Okay. So mainly it's going to be like mayor level targets, but eh, whatever. Okay, so he won't come. He won't come. He won't come. He will come. Good. Good. He won't come. My spy master won't come. That's a lot of people saying no. That's pretty. That's impressive. We just uh, a lot of people just told me no. They told me off. Surprised that he wouldn't come, uh, since he has really a very very good, um, very very good impression of us. I'm tempted to pull him off of uh, scheming. And put him on like some mudslinging, especially on my brother here, to try to dig up something where we can, you know, like revoke his titles. But yes, we want to educate him. He is going to be a bright and shining star. 
My son Yogaraja practically lives in the kitchen. You little glutton. Well, he needs to be monitored. Very good. So we're just going to chill out. We're going to wait. We're going to wait till the corrals hits before we do anything because I believe if we start a war, it's going to stop the corrals. All right, my concubine Dehana Gadevi is Dehana Gadevi. Yeah, is pregnant. It's fine. How many concubines do we have? Three. Wow, we've got a full house. Your guests have arrived for the arrived for the private feast you've arranged. It's time to let the carousing and merriment begin. Let's get it started. So that gives us plus uh, a tenth, uh, plus a tenth monthly prestige every month. Uh, until next month. So basically 0.1 prestige for a month. And then we are going to get another uh, another modifier after this is over. These days of revelry are an excellent escape. So many laughs and so many intense conversations in such a short time. It brings you closer to your companions. You feel like good friends already. You're my best friend. It's fine. Okay, we had a daughter. Madavi. The reveling and carousing is over for now. Time to get back to real life, and we uh, will gain 20 prestige, which is cool. And uh, carouser gets removed. We get dedicated carouser, which gives us plus two to diplomacy. And then we get the recent carousing debuff until 786, until basic, basically like a, a year and a quarter. Okay, how are we looking here? Eh, it's taking some time, isn't it? That's okay. A priest from the local temple has arrived asking to speak with you. My lord, the holy elephants at the temple are all sick. However, we have learned that there is a healer in a neighboring province who is famous for healing ailing elephants. He's the Elephant Whisperer. He is, however, most expensive. So uh, we can basically tell, we can thumb our nose, tell him to, you know, shove off. <clears throat> which would give us negative 10 vassal opinion for four years, but... Eh. Or, or we can pay for it. 20 gold, we'd get temple vassal opinion, and... Uh, for four years, we would get a minus to local revolt risk. So we'll go ahead and take that. Even though we don't really have any revolt risk, probably. Um, you know, we can afford the gold. No revolt risk. How's the religion? Yeah, so we're, we're Jain. That's good. That's good. So right now, if we, if we levied up right now, we could get almost 2,000 troops. Uh, sure, you can be my Upad Yaya. We'll just research cultural tech. What about you? How many troops can you grab? 1.4. Think about it. He's going to keep gaining karma. And he could also... Um, she's 14. So he could very well marry her to somebody and uh, bring in an ally for too long. We could declare the war and call, bring up like a mercenary group. See, we, we make almost enough money. We could probably, um, you know, it does cost eight a month. Raising our levies is going to cost money too, but it's not really, we wouldn't be going negative that fast. If we raised mercenaries, we would almost certainly be able to crush him uh, very, very quickly and take one of those counties back. Or not take them back. We never possessed them in the first place, but we would be able to um, take them and have them add them to our kingdom. We do have five more spaces in our dom domain at the moment. <clears throat> All right. Well, I think we're going to do it. Um, even though we're not at our levy cap, we're we're about three hundred under. Uh, I think we're going to do it, and I think we're going to. Eh... All right. Just first of the year. First of the year, we'll do it. We'll do it the first of the year. Just a little bit more money. Ah, uh, see? See? My liege, I write to you with bad news from Damalpur. My efforts to squeeze some extra taxes out of the population have met with resistance, and the peasants are arming themselves. Fear we might have a revolt on our hands here soon. So we get uh, plus 5% local revolt risk until 786, but since we uh, paid for the elephant whisperer, it actually balances out. Not a big deal. If we look right here, Subjects feeling protected, high taxes, all balances out, so no big deal. At the first of the year, that's when we'll declare war. Alright, we had a daughter. Nothing special, just a daughter. Oh, she died in childbirth. Childbirth. 
Alright, well, we need to get another concubine then. Actually, do we really? I mean, we've got a ton of prestige. The Really, the only reason to have three concubines is if you still don't have somebody with a, a good trait. Which, we have a genius, so we're just going to let it go. Just letting it go. Gaining some troops. Very good. Okay. Uh, ooh. Ooh. All right. Well, um, yeah, I think we have to take this. So now we have a claim on this guy, huh? Any allies? The Thakur of Chinderi. The guy to your north. Well, he'll almost certainly come in. How many troops does he have? 768, 565 would be 1200, and we can field about 2000. Probably wouldn't be any problem. If we wait until he's older, he's probably going to uh, marry and get another ally. But the same can be said here. If we wait until, uh, wait until she comes of age, he's going to marry her to somebody. I mean, without a doubt. And he's going to get another ally. He's probably going to go for a Maharaja. So we, instead of looking at fighting him, we'd probably be looking at fighting like him and him or him and him. Hmm. We were trying to save up for Mercs. Meh. Decisions, decisions. Well, one thing at least that we, we know we need to do, we need to get our Chancellor uh, fabbing a claim somewhere else. Let's put him there. I wish you could press all of your de jure claims at the same time. That would be really rocking. All right, so I'm actually going to give it a little bit more time. I know I said the start of the year, but uh, the reason I said the start of the year was to give our levies a little bit more time to tick up and also to have a little bit more money for mercs, just in case we need them. I don't know that we're going to need them, but we very, very well maybe. It's better to take the path of uh, wisdom. Quarreler. He's the quarreler. Discovered a plot where Vijnanavati seeks to kill Rajkumar Sahajapala of Chada Kingdom. Okay, so my concubine seeks to kill Rajkumar Sahajapala. Which, who is that? Oh, it's my son! Oh, you wench! No, no, that just that just can't happen. You're now in prison. Sorry. Yep, exactly. Very good. I should reward him for catching that. I would have been pretty pissed off. Another claim? Oh my god. This game, right now. Sometimes, you know, you'll go forever without getting claims, and then just it's like they rain from the skies all of a sudden. Alright, where do we want to send him now? Holy guacamole. Well, hmm. I like how this uh, has split into two. That's really nice. The Maharas Maharashtra and the... is three! Is that really... Th no, okay, that's... that. yeah, Rashtra Kut... yeah, okay. So it is two. Well, still, two, that's good. That's actually really good. Let's, uh, I've got an idea. Let's, um, let's sow some dissent here. That's what I'm thinking. Who is your, who, who's giving you the most here? Kaka. <laughs> Raja Kaka of Maru. Where's that? Okay. Let's sow some dissent with Raja Kaka of Maru. And see if we can't get him to give you less troops. So right now you're getting about a thousand from your domain and about 500 from your vassals, which isn't a lot, but it's not, you know, inconsequential. He does have two allies. He has this guy and the Thakur of Sanda, which is right over here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we go with go at this guy. I really am thinking we go with this guy. He's gonna call this guy in. We smash both of them. At the same time, we take this, we come back, we re-raise, and we smash this guy too. We take both of these uh, in like bam, bam, bam. Is what I'm thinking. Let's do it. Alright. Would you become my vassal? Of course you wouldn't. 
I'm sure he's probably going to call uh, call in his uh, his ally very very quickly. But if he doesn't, that's even better. If he lets me like smash his army and then calls him in, that's beautiful. Okay, there he he went and called him in there. All right, let's go ahead and get these guys on the road, and then the rest uh, can just like straggle along. I was really hoping to get over there before they would get uh, like a big conglomeration. But it's probably not going to happen. What's going on over here, guys? Okay, he has 1363. Let's just chill. Let's let the rest of these guys come forward. Oh, we're taking a little attrition, aren't we? Hmm. Oh, well. All right. Merge up. 39. Mm, probably not a big deal. Why in the world? Okay, they, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, uh, let's see. What's his comp here? All right. It's about half heavy infantry. Uh, we're pretty pretty similarly comped, actually. He might even have a little bit more in the terms of archers. I think this is going to be fine. We have really good, uh, really good commanders. He's a brilliant strategist. Flat terrain expert. This is flat terrain. Um, what else do we have here? Battlefield terrain master. Narrow flank, huh? Well, you need to be in a flank then. We'll put you in the in the lead. What about you? You got anything? No, that's still fine. All right. Well, here we go. I think it should be fine. I really do think it should be fine. We have a strong numerical advantage. I'm not really sure what uh what they're looking like what does he got here nobody in the center a 13 in the flank and an 11 in this flank they do have the jungle on their side yeah be patient my son okay yeah that we lost 200 they lost 1300 we completely stack wiped both of them so. commence the siege Ooh, Milij, I have managed to sow distrust between Dhammapati Jayasima of Siwana and his liege Rajakaka. I hope this pleases you. Actually, that's not what I'm wanting. I'm actually wanting to sow uh, distrust here. Yeah. I want to sow distrust here. Your hard work practicing public speaking in front of a mirror has paid off. You now feel much more confident when addressing others, and your skill at the art of diplomacy has likewise improved. We gained two diplomacy. So what are we up to now? Eight. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. So we'll probably have to siege two holdings here. If we're lucky, maybe one. Educate. Who do we want to educate her with? I think we educated the first one with a my or a gray eminence. Let's do that again. I want to make sure that we have those traits kicking around, if at all possible. Has called... what? Raja blah 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 of... okay. Where are you? You're all the way over there. How did you call him in though? Like where did the... where did the alliance... oh okay, he married. Yeah. He married her. Is that your sister? Yep. Exactly what I thought would happen. But uh, it's probably going to be too little too late for uh, for him. He doesn't have enough troops. So he just burned that called into war for nothing. Oh, great. Mine. Belongs to me now. Okay. Let's disband. What about you? Okay. Oh, alright. So now uh, this guy is his ally as well. So, hmm. It's his uh, brother, Yuda Harandeva's father in law. Okay, so this was your brother. I see now. And this is your father in law over here. He would come in. He has 900 troops. This guy has 
700, so that'd be 1600, and you have nothing. What do we have? More than that. Hmm. Let's, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play some guile here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, do a, you know, just take a minute. I'm just gonna let it simmer. Um, I, there's no hurry. I think if we did declare war on these guys, what would happen? Almost certainly he's gonna call both these guys in. Uh, the fact that they're split up actually works in our favor. What we could probably do, if he immediately called them in, if he was like, bam, and he called them in, uh, we could, instead of sending our troops here, we send our troops over here and just squash this guy, like, immediately. Uh, because he has 900, and he's, like, just sitting right there. And then we send over here, this guy only has 600, so it's not a big deal. We might actually do that in the next video. I like that a whole lot better than just going straight for this guy. Because he has like a hundred and something troops. Does he have any... Yeah, he doesn't even have the karma to summon a holy order. So, yeah, I think that's probably what we'll do. And uh, I guess we're just kind of trying to box in the Pratiharas. I don't really like having territory so far away from um, our, you know, like our main power base. Because it, you know, it takes a while to get troops over there. But I think it's going to be necessary uh, and for, for a minute here, because we're going to have to wait. It's going to take some time. We gain two purity a month. Um, we can start having Diwali feasts before too long. Um, which will speed our purity along by 30 a year. Or 30 every two years. So 15 a year. 15 plus uh, 24 would be uh, 39 a year. So if you think about that, we need 500. And we're at 162, so that's what 340, and we gain 39 a year. That'd be about 10 years, nine years, before we could subjugate. He's 27, so he'd be 36. It's not too bad. It's not really too bad, but he's almost certainly going to have another ally by then. What we could do, <laughs> what we could do to try to forestall that would be to. Uh, she's 13, huh? We could marry her to my little brother. Could. You don't have hardly anything, do you? You guys are super weak right now. Super weak. You got anybody that we could marry? Betrothed, maybe? your daughter she's 11 would you take a betrothal to my uh, my younger brother I bet you would I bet you would so what would be the negative of this if we did this what would be the negative I don't really perceive a negative here I mean yeah, he's going to spit out some kids, but he's not the primary heir. We can just squash him. Well, he would. And that would give us an alliance to him. I mean, we know that we're not going to be subjugating him this go-round. It's going to be this guy. So we could, like, try to marry him for political purposes. And... We could look at uh, this guy, or we could also just go uh, with this guy. Let's go ahead and send that off. What about you? How many troops do you have, Ayuda? A lot. You don't have any children. This is your heir, huh? Huh. Interesting. We could marry one of our daughters to him. Problem then would be um, a daughter. Do they have claims? They don't have claims. But they will when I die. They'll have a weak claim. And he could, he could push that. Mm. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. I like the idea of having an alliance with the guy, though. For sure. I don't know that it's necessary though. I mean, unless he allies with him. 
Which is possible. Which is very possible. How old is his son? Or his heir? Uh, see, that's just his heir, though. It's not his... He needs to get married. Oh, God. The nightmare scenario would be if he married his daughter. Oh, that would be a nightmare. Can we marry you to somebody, like, in our court? Claim to Kataka, huh? Did you take her? No. Like, trying to... Trying to desperately... Trying to marry him to somebody in our court. So that he doesn't uh, get married. Yeah, he's not going to take any of these guys, any of these gals. What about a betrothal? What about a betrothal? What we could do... This is kind of tricksy. We could betroth them to our... <laughs> our one-year-old daughter. Would he take it? No, okay. Age. Actually, he likes the age. He likes them young. It's horrible. It's terrible. But he doesn't like skills. Polit okay, political concerns. There we get to the heart of it. What about her? Same thing. Okay. Yeah, so... Basically political concerns. He doesn't want... Uh, I guess he doesn't want to get dragged into our wars. Funny. Funny, funny. Okay, well... Uh, I'm going to let that percolate. And uh, why don't you guys let me know what you think. So chances are by the time you actually get back to me on it, I'll have already you know made a decision. But uh, it is it is still interesting to hear your suggestions after the fact. So let me know what you would do. What would you do in this situation? Who would you ally? Would you ally anybody? Would you have even married him? You know, what would you have done? Let me know. Thank you guys for joining me. And until next time, game on.